Another planning consideration is the balance of the load. Generally, it's easier to control a load if it's well balanced. Many electrical components, such as the transformer you see here, have lifting points as a part of their structural design. On other components, like this gang-operated switch or this utility pole, the balance must be estimated by experience. Whenever you're rigging a job, it's always a good idea to take a test strain on the load to make sure that the load is balanced and that the rigging will do the job that's necessary. The clearance and safety requirements of the job are also a concern during planning. Make sure that you're aware of obstructions such as tree limbs, buildings, and telephone lines that might complicate the rigging. Often, rigging a job on an overhead distribution system will require working around energized or potentially energized equipment. Whenever work is done around energized equipment, the equipment must be properly covered with line cover gear and a safe electrical clearance must be maintained in order to minimize the risk of a shock hazard. Recommended safe electrical clearances vary according to the voltage and to specific company procedures. The clearances are usually published in a chart like this one. Here, the minimum safe electrical clearance from primary equipment energized at 13,200 volts is two feet. Care must be exercised when rigging a job so that safety is not compromised by reducing the recommended safe clearances. For example, here line cover gear is being used to insulate all energized primary equipment in the work area. The crew is careful not to allow the rigging equipment, such as rope, to make contact with any of the energized equipment. Once the job is planned, the crew can proceed with the next element of safe rigging practice, which is to carefully inspect the rigging equipment. It's important to check all of the equipment that will be used to make sure that it's in good condition and that it's the right equipment for the job. Equipment that's damaged or undersized can cause problems in completing the job. If the rigging equipment cannot do the job properly, everything may have to be moved back to its original position. Then the job will have to be rigged again with the right equipment. Worse yet, the equipment can fail, causing loss of load control, personal injury, damage to other equipment, and power outages. The final safe rigging guideline is using the equipment properly. Each piece of rigging equipment is designed to perform a specific task. Using a piece of equipment to do a job it is not designed to do, or exceeding the capacity of the equipment, can cause an accident. Thank you.